some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So let me start off by saying that I don't condone no type of violence whatsoever against any woman. If you get rejected, you get rejected. Just move on. With the unfortunate situation that's that's happening to uh, Roe or that that's allegedly happened to Roe, the narrative of the fact that she didn't give out her phone number and for that she got met with a brick to the face now that was the going narrative before everything else started spindling out of control so i don't know if it's a hoax i don't know if it's filters i don't know the only thing that i did question was the fact that you broke out your camera instead of breaking out 911 instead of breaking out the cops so i don't know you know what was the meaning behind everything i don't know what your thought process was that night as i always say i feel that People should record from front to back, top to bottom, the beginning to end, so we can get a full context of what's going on or what's went on. What led up to the situation instead of getting the action? And I can understand if you just now get in there late and you start your phone. Yeah, I get that part. But if you're already there, <laughs> you know, and a man, you a man come up to you, start talking to you, start saying, hey, baby, yada, yada, yada. He starts shooting his shot, start shooting his game. And then up all of a sudden, you be like, nah, you know, I, I rock with the other crowd or I'm just not interested in you or anything of that matter. And then he started getting huffing and puffing. Then, yeah, break out the camera and start recording. Do that right there and then we can see from front to back top to bottom of the situation now as for the guys that was there i'm sure somebody had a camera i'm sure somebody was recording if that was the case it's been a couple of days it's been it's been a couple of days since the incident and there's no other footage that came out. Now, there was a guy that came and claimed that he was there and he said, hey, I, I was there and I didn't help. And if it happened again, I wouldn't I still wouldn't help. Well, bro, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have said anything, <laughs> you know, maybe you shouldn't. But again, I, I don't know the parallels. Now it's coming out that it's a hoax. She's a fraud. She did all this for money. And and yeah. But if you caught my live feed, I, I did mention that, you know. TikTok is the, is the new hustle, man. I said it before. I said it again. It's the new hustle. With all these fancy AI gadgets and stuff like that that can make you you the the the, the editing the 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 filters the filters themselves can make you look like a whole different person. The AI voice can make you sound like a whole different person. And you put together an elaborate production on TikTok 
and put it out to the world as what as as fact of what happened people is going to fall for it the the, the it was a, it was a it was a it was a white creator as you guys call him creator on tiktok that made a narrative that a black man has beat her up she turned on the filter had the, had her face all messed up even went to the hospital and continued the farce made a gofundme and she made a pretty penny i i don't know if that was a filter or not I don't know. I can't tell <laughs> with AI tools these days. <laughs> they they make these <laughs> they make these transitions <laughs> like you could transform into a whole different person, bro. But the narrative of a man getting into his feelings, that's real. After being rejected, that's real. Let's take it back three years ago. Three years ago, right? Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. See, TikTok wasn't as big as it is now. This story right here had uh, some attention to it, but not as much as attention as a uh, row reports situation. Y'all tend to forget about what happened to a young lady that was smacked in the face with a skateboard by Pookie of no less. He felt disrespected. He was trying to shoot his shot and the young lady was like, I'm not interested. And then mid sentence, bow, didn't even see it coming. Laid her flat out on the ground, left there for dead. And of course there was black men around that actually seen and let it happen. She didn't get a chance to get back up and turn on the phone and start recording and ranting and raving. Nah, she laid there while the dude went to the guys that was recording and said, hey, My Mills, you don't disrespect me. It's been three years ago since that. We don't even know about the aftermath we don't even know if he's been arrested he hasn't been arrested it says right here in the article that he hasn't even been arrested he haven't even paid for that crime and somebody else had the video so the parallels of Roe whatever her situation was I'm and I'm not downplaying that situation because it could have been real but at this point in time, we don't know what to believe. We don't know what to believe at this time. At this time, we don't. There's so many stories that's coming out. There's so many contradictions that's coming out. There's a lot of, it's, it's just so much. You got half the internet that believes her and it actually happened. And then you got the other half of the internet that says, we call in cap. Again, you can make any type of production in TikTok. That's why TikTok is so, is the go-to. Nobody else goes to no other app. They go to TikTok. Instantly viral videos. And this video right here, 16 seconds where the young man smacked the young lady in the face with a skateboard. I'm not sure how many views it got at that time. It probably went viral. But if I was to re if I was to re-upload this video up on TikTok today, 
guess how many views it would get. And everybody would think that it happened like yesterday, not realizing that this is three years old. In 2020, the internet was disgusted with an entailing, horrifying visual of a black man attacking a black woman with a skateboard in Harlem. The suspect that went by the name of wasn't apprehended by the New York Police Department and his whereabouts is unknown to us to this day. The 16 second clip, which took me a little bit, a hot minute to find, shows a woman wearing all black clothing speaking to also named Rodney Maturi. I can't pronounce his last name. Ab Abdul Maturi, according to a change.org. They had a whole change.org platform to look and apprehend this man. Mills, who was in a black and red hoodie, dark trousers, black and white vans, allegedly felt disrespected and struck her in the head, causing a sickening thud before she fell. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> <laughs> she turned them down he, he was over there talking he was over there shooting his game and she said something to the effect that she's not interested she didn't want to be bothered or whatever the case and in mid-sentence pow she ain't even see it coming now, let me say that there was black men that was there, and you can hear in the video, all of them said, ooh, and ah. And it don't even look like they were shot. They look like this is an everyday occurrence. They didn't do nothing. They didn't go and protect the woman. They didn't stop him and ask him why he did that. He came up in the camera nonchalantly and just said, You don't disrespect me. Again, perhaps due to the sexual advances he was doing or giving her, uh, again, the lack of interest concerning their attraction, she didn't want no parts of him. Didn't think nothing of it and just from what you guys seen in the video, as she was talking, he got into his baseball stance. She still didn't even catch it. Didn't even know. Got into a baseball stance. And again, while she was talking mid-sentence, he took aim and fired and bap. That was it. Laid her out in the middle of the sidewalk. She ain't get up. She ain't do nothing. And again, the black men that was there, they was all hammering it up as they was laughing. You can hear it. You can hear it in the video. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> You can hear it in the video. After it, after it happened, you can see dude turned around and walk, you know, up into the up into the camera in what would could now be perceived as a murder scene because she still laid out, not moving. Like, dude, you you literally, I mean, he smacked her in the head first, and then she fell to the ground and hit her head again. <laughs> to this day, I, I tried to find an update on the lady. I tried to find uh, 
what happened to her is she all right is she still alive <laughs> of all things he said with confidence everybody that seen the video didn't uh, question like what happened what now everybody like myself asked why didn't nobody help then they actually seen the attack he was still there nobody called the police nobody no nobody nobody even went over there and checked on the girl in the video before the video went off now maybe after the video went off somebody decided to call the cops stayed there until the cops came and then bounced because they didn't want to be a witness to a murder if that was the case allegedly because we still don't know what happened to the young lady but trying to find information on skeeter mr pookie his instagram is deleted his his whole being on social media just now of course this video did go viral back in 2020 not as not as much viral that rose video is getting but in essence it, it it went viral on the on the on on the platforms that it was uploaded to and particularly instagram uh i found this video deep 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 in a twitter and i had to get another app in order to download the video which was off of reddit with no information on this guy we don't know if he's uh arrested if he's charged with the crime or if he's even paying for the crime we don't know and as far as the young lady goes i mean i hope um i hope she's all right to this day because i'm sure she don't want to break out of camera sorry bro i'm sure she didn't want to break out of camera to record <laughs> getting smacked in the face with a skateboard and being laid out for as long as she was I, I don't think i don't think the phone was on her mind at that time so yeah three years ago a pookie felt disrespected and and went off and assaulted the lady which parallels to what could have happened to row but again we don't know there's no other footage and it's been a couple of days and i don't know i don't know i'm i'm not taking away what might have had happened to her because what might have had happened to her probably happened to her for real she came back in another video explaining uh about not keeping the focus on me let's put the focus on the man that did this to me which is fact which is fact but the only reason why the focus is is on you bro is because you broke out the camera and you put the focus on you that's why the focus is on you now if you was to break out the camera and maybe you know try to catch the dude when he got away because you did mention the fact that he's he got in he tried to get in a couple of cars before he actually got in the car and got away maybe the focus would have been on him if you would have got a glimpse of him i don't know what happened i wasn't there and at this point we we did so many stories so many different parts of this cog wheel we don't know we got two gentlemen over here saying that they was there they try to help you and they gave they little part of the story you had a gentleman again he was there he didn't help him help you and he gave his reasons why he didn't help you but no other no other guys came out what about the guys that was in the video like the other guys that was in the video what about them guys why why their videos of what happened to you didn't come out it's a couple of days 
it's also a lot of variables to what people would do to get that 15 minutes of fame to get that virability you know think about that think about think about that now how she getting her hustle on that's that's her hustle now you guys is bringing out her bad stories about that she not only made this GoFundMe, but she made a couple of GoFundMe's in the past. So GoFundMe is the is GoFundMe is the go-to, is the go-to for easy money. Down on your luck, do a GoFundMe. Need something? Do a GoFundMe. House breakdown? Go do a GoFundMe. Get stuck in another city because you went to the basketball awards or whatever the case and you don't have no money start a gofundme and what y'all what y'all fail to realize that gofundme was really created for people that really needs the help somebody couldn't pay for a funeral do a gofundme you somebody can't pay for their medical bills do a gofundme they kids need some help do a gofundme But everybody feels a lot of ways. And you guys just come straight out of your wallets and just give without no contacts. And that's cool. It's just like trucking. Gurus talk about trucking all the time. Y'all come out your pockets and give. Young lady starts a, a, a trucking business and the bots tell you to give her $1,500 or $15,000. You think nothing of it, you give it right to her. That's the age we live in, y'all. It's the matrix. That's what TikTok is. The matrix. So maybe next time, Y'all would probably want some contacts before y'all start to give. Think of it that way. Again, we don't condone violence. Getting smacked in the face with a skateboard or brick is not cool. Guys, if y'all feel like y'all got to do that, y'all y'all got a problem. And I hope y'all get arrested. I hope y'all pay for the crimes. So here's a mysterious guy that did, that got away, and here's he got away.